Histone, Wikipedia Audio In biology, histones are highly alkaline proteins found in eukaryotic cell nuclei that package and order the DNA into structural units called nucleosomes. They are the chief protein components of chromatin, acting as spools around which DNA winds, and playing a role in gene regulation. Without histones, the unwound DNA in chromosomes would be very long. For example, each human diploid cell has about 1.8 meters of DNA, wound on the histones, the diploid cell has about 90 micrometers of chromatin. When the diploid cells are duplicated and condensed during mitosis, the result is about 120 micrometers of chromosomes. Five major families of histones exist, H1-H5, H2A, H2B, H3, and H4. Histones H2A, H2B, H3 and H4 are known as the core histones, while histones H1-H5 are known as the linker histones. The core histones all exist as dimers which are similar in that they all possess the histone fold domain, three alpha helices linked by two loops. It is this helical structure that allows for interaction between distinct dimers, particularly in a head-tail fashion. The resulting four distinct dimers then come together to form one octameric nucleosome core, approximately 63 angstroms in diameter like particle. Around 146 base pairs of DNA wrap around this core particle 1.65 times in a left-handed superhelical turn to give a particle of around 100 angstroms across. The linker histone H1 binds the nucleosome at the entry and exit sites of the DNA, thus locking the DNA into place and allowing the formation of higher order structure. The most basic such formation is the 10 nm fiber or beads on a string conformation. This involves the wrapping of DNA around nucleosomes with approximately 50 base pairs of DNA separating each pair of nucleosomes. Higher order structures include the 30 nm fiber and 100 nm fiber, these being the structures found in normal cells. During mitosis and meiosis, the condensed chromosomes are assembled through interactions between nucleosomes and other regulatory proteins. Classes and histone variants Histones are subdivided into canonical replication-dependent histones that are expressed during the S phase of cell cycle and replication-independent histone variants, expressed during the whole cell cycle. In animals, Genes encoding canonical histones are typically clustered along the chromosome, lack introns, and use a stem loop structure at the three end instead of a poly A tail. Genes encoding histone variants are usually not clustered, have introns and their monas are regulated with poly A tails. Complex multicellular organisms typically have a higher number of histone variants providing a variety of different functions. Recent data are accumulating about the roles of diverse histone variants highlighting the functional links between variants and the delicate regulation of organism development. Histone variants from different organisms, their classification, and variant-specific features can be found in Histone DB 2.0, Variants Database. The following is a list of human histone proteins. Helix dipoles form alpha helixes in H2B, H3, and H4 cause a net positive charge to accumulate at the point of interaction with negatively charged phosphate groups on DNA, hydrogen bonds between the DNA backbone and the amide group on the main chain of histone proteins, nonpolar interactions between the histone and deoxyribose sugars on DNA salt bridges and hydrogen bonds between side chains of basic amino acids and phosphate oxygens on DNA, 
nonspecific minor groove insertions of the H3 and H2BN. Terminal tails into two minor grooves each on the DNA molecule. The nucleosome core is formed of two H2A H2B dimers and a H3 H4 tetramer, forming two nearly symmetrical halves by tertiary structure. The H2A H2B dimers and H3 H4 tetramer also show pseudodiad symmetry. The four core histones are relatively similar in structure and are highly conserved through evolution, all featuring a helix turn helix turn helix motif. They also share the feature of long tails on one end of the amino acid structure, this being the location of post translational modification. It has been proposed that histone proteins are evolutionarily related to the helical part of the extended AAA and ADPase domain, the C domain, and to the N-terminal substrate recognition domain of CLP-HSB100 proteins. Despite the differences in their topology, these three folds share a homologous helix-strand helix motif. Using an electron paramagnetic resonance spin labeling technique, British researchers measured the distances between the spools around which eukaryotic cells wind their DNA. They determined the spacings range from 59 to 70 A. In all, histones make five types of interactions with DNA. The highly basic nature of histones aside from facilitating DNA histone interactions, contributes to their water solubility. The name of the histone, the single letter amino acid abbreviation and the amino acid position in the protein, the type of modification, the number of modifications. Histones are subject to post-translational modification by enzymes primarily on their N-terminal tails, but also in their globular domains. Such modifications include methylation, citrullination, acetylation, phosphorylation, SUM oilation, ubiquitination, and ADP ribosylation. This affects their function of gene regulation. In general, genes that are active have less bound histone, while inactive genes are highly associated with histones during interphase. It also appears that the structure of histones has been evolutionarily conserved, as any deleterious mutations would be severely maladaptive. All histones have a highly positively charged N-terminus with many lysine and arginine residues. Structure Histones were discovered in 1884 by Albrecht Kossel. The word histone dates from the late 19th century and is from the German word histon, a word itself of uncertain origin, perhaps from the Greek histana or histos. Until the early 1990s, histones were dismissed by most as inert packing material for eukaryotic nuclear DNA a view based in part on the models of Mark Tashney and others, who believed that transcription was activated by protein DNA and protein-protein interactions on largely naked DNA templates, as is the case in bacteria. During the 1980s, Yali Lorch and Roger Kornberg showed that a nucleosome on a core promoter prevents the initiation of transcription in vitro and Michael Grunstein demonstrated that histones repress transcription in vivo, leading to the idea of the nucleosome as a general gene repressor. Relief from repression is believed to involve both histone modification and the action of chromatin remodeling complexes. Vincent Alfrey and Alfred Mursky earlier proposed a role of histone modification in transcriptional activation, regarded as a molecular manifestation of epigenetics. Michael Grunstein and David Alice found support for this proposal, in the importance of histone acetylation for transcription in yeast and the activity of the transcriptional activator GCN5 as a histone acetyltransferase. The discovery of the H5 histone appears to date back to the 1970s, 
and it is now considered an isoform of histone H1. Histones are found in the nuclei of eukaryotic cells, and in certain archaea, namely thermoproteals and uriarchaea, but not in bacteria. The unicellular algae known as dinoflagellates were previously thought to be the only eukaryotes that completely lack histones, however, later studies showed that their DNA still encodes histone genes. Archaeal histones may well resemble the evolutionary precursors to eukaryotic histones. Histone proteins are among the most highly conserved proteins in eukaryotes, emphasizing their important role in the biology of the nucleus. 939 In contrast mature sperm cells largely use proteins to package their genomic DNA most likely because this allows them to achieve an even higher packaging ratio. Core histones are highly conserved proteins, that is, there are very few differences among the amino acid sequences of the histone proteins of different species. There are some variant forms in some of the major classes. They share amino acid sequence homology and core structural similarity to a specific class of major histones but also have their own feature that is distinct from the major histones. These minor histones usually carry out specific functions of the chromatin metabolism. For example, histone H3 like Sen A is associated with only the centromere region of the chromosome. Histone H2A variant H2AZ is associated with the promoters of actively transcribed genes and also involved in the prevention of the spread of silent heterochromatin. Furthermore, H2AZ has roles in chromatin for genome stability. Another H2A variant H2AX is phosphorylated at S139 in regions around double strand breaks and marks the region undergoing DNA repair. Histone H3.3 is associated with the body of actively transcribed genes. History Conservation across species Histones act as spools around which DNA winds. This enables the compaction necessary to fit the large genomes of eukaryotes inside cell nuclei. The compacted molecule is 40,000 times shorter than an unpacked molecule. Function Compacting DNA strands Chromatin regulation Functions of histone modifications Chemistry of histone modifications Histones undergo post-translational modifications that alter their interaction with DNA and nuclear proteins. The H3 and H4 histones have long tails protruding from the nucleosome, which can be covalently modified at several places. Modifications of the tail include methylation, acetylation, phosphorylation, ubiquitination, SUMoylation, citrullination, and ADP ribosylation. The core of the histones H2A and H2B can also be modified. Combinations of modifications are thought to constitute a code, the so-called histone code. Histone modifications act in diverse biological processes such as gene regulation, DNA repair, chromosome condensation, and spermatogenesis. The common nomenclature of histone modifications is So H3K form E1 denotes the monomethylation of the fourth residue from the start of the H3 protein. Lysine methylation a huge catalogue of histone modifications have been described, but a functional understanding of most is still lacking. Collectively, it is thought that histone modifications may underlie a histone code, whereby combinations of histone modifications have specific meanings. However, most functional data concerns individual prominent histone modifications that are biochemically amenable to detailed study. 
the addition of one, two, or three methyl groups to lysine has little effect on the chemistry of the histone, methylation leaves the charge of the lysine intact and adds a minimal number of atoms so steric interactions are mostly unaffected. However, proteins containing tutor, chromo or PhD domains, amongst others, can recognize lysine methylation with exquisite sensitivity and differentiate mono, D and trimethyl lysine, to the extent that, for some lysines mono, D and trimethylation appear to have different meanings. Because of this, Lysine methylation tends to be a very informative mark and dominates the known histone modification functions. What was said above of the chemistry of lysine methylation also applies to arginine methylation, and some protein domains e.g., Tudor domains can be specific for methyl arginine instead of methyl lysine. Arginine is known to be mono or demethylated, and methylation can be symmetric or asymmetric, potentially with different meanings. Enzymes called peptidylarginine deaminases hydrolyze the amine group of arginines and attach a keto group, so that there is one less positive charge on the amino acid residue. This process has been involved in the activation of gene expression by making the modified histones less tightly bound to DNA and thus making the chromatin more accessible. PADS can also produce the opposite effect by removing or inhibiting monomethylation of arginine residues on histones and thus antagonizing the positive effect arginine methylation has on transcriptional activity. Addition of an acetyl group has a major chemical effect on lysine as it neutralizes the positive charge. This reduces electrostatic attraction between the histone and the negatively charged DNA backbone, loosening the chromatin structure. Highly acetylated histones form more accessible chromatin and tend to be associated with active transcription. Lysine acetylation appears to be less precise in meaning than methylation, in that histone acetyl transferases tend to act on more than one lysine, presumably this reflects the need to alter multiple lysines to have a significant effect on chromatin structure. The modification includes H3K27AC. Addition of a negatively charged phosphate group can lead to major changes in protein structure, leading to the well-characterized role of phosphorylation in controlling protein function. It is not clear what structural implications histone phosphorylation has, but histone phosphorylation has clear functions as a post-translational modification, and binding domains such as BRCT have been characterized. Most well-studied histone modifications are involved in control of transcription. Arginine methylation Two histone modifications are particularly associated with active transcription. Three histone modifications are particularly associated with repressed genes. Arginine citrullination Analysis of histone modifications in embryonic stem cells revealed many gene promoters carrying both H3K4Me3 and H3K27Me3, in other words these promoters display both activating and repressing marks simultaneously. This peculiar combination of modifications marks genes that are poised for transcription, they are not required in stem cells but are rapidly required after differentiation into some lineages. Once the cell starts to differentiate, these bivalent promoters are resolved to either active or repressive states depending on the chosen lineage. Marking sites of DNA damage is an important function for histone modifications. It also protects DNA from getting destroyed by ultraviolet radiation of sun. Lysine acetylation serine slash threonine slash tyrosine phosphorylation Functions in transcription 
H3K36 Me3 has the ability to recruit the MSH2-MSH6 complex of the DNA mismatch repair pathway. Consistency, regions of the human genome with high levels of H3K36 Me3 accumulate less somatic mutations due to mismatch repair activity. The first step of chromatin structure duplication is the synthesis of histone proteins. H1, H2A, H2B, H3, H4. These proteins are synthesized during S phase of the cell cycle. There are different mechanisms which contribute to the increase of histone synthesis. Yeast carry one or two copies of each histone gene, which are not clustered but rather scattered throughout chromosomes. Histone gene transcription is controlled by multiple gene regulatory proteins such as transcription factors which bind to histone promoter regions. In budding yeast, the candidate gene for activation of histone gene expression is SBF. SBF is a transcription factor that is activated in late G1 phase, when it dissociates from its repressor WHI5. This occurs when WHI5 is phosphorylated by CDC8 which is AG1-SCDK. Suppression of histone gene expression outside of S phases is dependent on HER proteins which form inactive chromatin structure at the locus of histone genes, causing transcriptional activators to be blocked. In metazoans the increase in the rate of histone synthesis is due to the increase in processing of pre-mRNA to its mature form as well as decrease in mRNA degradation, this results in an increase of active mRNA for translation of histone proteins. The mechanism for mRNA activation has been found to be the removal of a segment of the three end of the mRNA strand and is dependent on association with stem loop binding protein. SLBP also stabilizes histone RNAs during S phase by blocking degradation by the 3HXO nuclease. SLBP levels are controlled by cell cycle proteins, causing SLBP to accumulate as cells enter S phase and degrade as cells leave S phase. SLBP are marked for degradation by phosphorylation at 2-3-anine residues by cyclin-dependent kinases, possibly cyclin A-CDK2, at the end of S phase. Metazoans also have multiple copies of histone genes clustered on chromosomes which are localized in structures called casual bodies as determined by genome-wide chromosome conformation capture analysis. Nuclear protein ataxia telangiectasia, also known as nuclear protein coactivator of histone transcription, is a transcription factor which activates histone gene transcription on chromosomes 1 and 6 of human cells. NPAT is also a substrate of cyclin ECDK2, which is required for the transition between G1 phase and S phase. NPAT activates histone gene expression only after it has been phosphorylated by the G1-SCDK cyclin ECDK2 in early S phase. This shows an important regulatory link between cell cycle control and histone synthesis. Actively transcribed genes Repressed genes Bivalent promoters other functions DNA damage DNA repair Chromosome condensation Histone synthesis Yeast Metazoans Link between cell cycle control machinery and histone synthesis